Angelo Zar was born and raised in Milan and operates the city's only artisan distillery. The 35-year-old says it's a labour of love that was born just a decade ago. Ten years ago, I didn't drink spirits, and then one night out with my in-laws, they made me try Pai Chiu, which is a kind of grappa made of rice, and for me it was a kind of magic. The distillery has a parallel production line, making Pai Chu for the Chinese market and grappa, brandy and gin for the Italian market, reflecting his dual heritage. We need more bridges and fewer walls, and so we want to be a bridge that can take the Italian culture to the Chinese people and Chinese culture to the Italians. Zhao's Distillery is one of 24 companies recognised at this year's Italy-China Awards. Another is the Chinese Box, a bar that over the past two decades has become an establishment in Milan. After 22 years of business, we are known not only by people in Milan, but all Italians. From 2015 to 2019, our bar experienced the biggest economic growth and increase in personnel. Hugh now runs three bars in Milan and even has his own cocktail school. Many Chinese people in Italy create a commercial business, but we chose a very different and difficult work because our competitors have decades more experience in the bar sector. China's imports to Italy increased by 23% this year, but due to COVID-19 restrictions, Italy's overall exports to China were down 10%. However, the Italy-China Council Foundation is confident of a made-in-Italy recovery next year. Food, fashion and furniture, which is the 3F. But uh, uh, if you look at the data, the fact we can see that actually Italy main export to China uh, is related to machinery 